What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel and wanting to subscribe button too, that helped me out immensely. Before we begin today's video, merch. I got plenty of die cuts available as well as fly tags. Everything is $5 each. So feel free to DM me YouTube or via Instagram. Instagram is the best way to contact me. We got pearl red, pearl gold, a plain Oxford white, a pearl purple, and also a pearl silver. So I really don't have a whole lot planned for this video, but to keep you guys updated, I actually have another vlog going on. Prelude is getting a full suspension refresh, all new bushings, new arms on both the driver and passenger side. Going to be swapping out the axles as well. Keep you updated, we got the rear Godspeed Project camber arm in. Currently waiting on my BC Racing coilovers, which should be shipping out hopefully the beginning of June. The Skyline has just been chilling. Before I dig into the turbo build, I want to make sure that the Prelude is all buttoned up with the coilovers in a nice alignment before I, again, start tearing out the old turbo and having the Skyline down for another month or so because I want at least one cool car to drive. Skyline is super dirty, so today we'll be linking up with Brian and the crew just to cruise and hang out. I haven't seen them in a minute since I've been super busy with work and sorry if I sound pretty congested. I am very congested and my allergies are killing me. Skirts are doing good. I'm actually picking up some custom side splitters next week, Wednesday, from a local company called Gorilla Splitters because I'm already damaging the side skirts under panels by how low the car drives. I was thinking about a front splitter, but this front bumper is already heavy enough. But on the topic of the Skyline, I did buy new wheels. So essentially I didn't buy a complete set of wheels, more like I bought a pair of faces and a pair of wheels that just need to be relit to my desired specs. The faces I got are 18 inch SSR Minervas that just need to be re-chromed, but a huge, huge shout out to Joan. Follow him on Instagram, DM him for all of your needs for rare aero parts or Japanese parts in general and wheels. If you need SSR Minervas, Blitzo 3s, any work wheels or pretty much any rare wheel you can think of, Joan is your boy. I won these at an auction on the Japanese Yahoo auction actually on Monday. Got these for a pretty good deal. Of course, them um, just being 18s is kind of a hard find, but to my understanding from pictures I saw, the faces are in great shape. I do plan on refinishing the faces, of course, to either triple chrome or do a whole brushed setup. I just need to figure out what look is going to accommodate or complement the skyline the best, but I'm really leaning towards a nice brushed finish because it's something I've always wanted to do, but the triple chrome is super saucy. My buddy let me test fit his triple chrome work Rezax and it just looked baller on the skyline. For the pair of wheels I bought. I just want to give a huge shout out to Street Style J for choosing me for these wheels. I bought Work VS KFs. Another hot boy wheel in 18 by eight. I do plan on relipping them. So they run 18 by nine and a half. I just need to figure out how big of a spacer I need to run up front because the Faces of the KFs are A disc, which means they clear standard size calipers. I don't know if they'll clear the Z32 calipers since they're four piston and they are pretty bulky. So, both of the faces and the wheels are in shipping. And I know the faces I won't get until say mid June since they're coming from Japan, but the VSKFs I will be 
receiving early next week. So once I get the Minervas in and the VSKFs, I'm gonna test fit them on the car, the Minervas I'm going to run. In the rear, I want to build them to 18 by 10 and run the fattest lip I can without having to pull my rear quarters because I just, of course, painted the car. I just need to figure out what size disc the faces are and that will play a huge factor on how big of a lip I can run. And then for the front, I just need to see how big of a spacer I need to run on the KF since again, they are A disc and they clear most calipers. Um, definitely gonna build those to 18 by nine and a half. Just not sure of the offset just yet. So it's gonna be fun. I haven't built wheels in about a year and a half now. And I think the Skyline is ready for some hot boy wheels because a lot of people have been messaging me when I'm going to be putting on some hot boy three piece wheels. And the time has come. I didn't plan on doing this like this year, honestly, I wanted to just throw the whole new turbo kit in the Skyline, get it tuned and enjoy it, save my money. But again, the SSR Minervas I got for a steal and the VSKFs I got for probably the best price you'll ever get VSKFs in say immaculate condition. I'm going to be hitting up VR wheels for my lips and barrels and my hardware because they're very reputable and I trust them. And then my third thing is finding tires since I can no longer find the Federal 595 SS's and 22535. They're not discontinued, but with supply and demand and going through the pandemic, they have become almost as rare as Blitzo 3's and the inflation on those tires price-wise has just gone through the roof. So I'm looking at some Toyo proxies I'm um, still gonna run 225, 35 squared. See how those stretch. And once I get those in, that'll be a vlog in itself. Right now I'm just gonna go ahead and load up my supplies. Wait for the boys. We're gonna grab dinner first and then hit the car wash, followed by a nice relaxing cruise. So that was a Nissan SEMA my friend Kyle picked up from Top Rank in California for about, for about, I think like three or four months ago. Finally, cool seeing it in person. Right now, I'm gonna meet Mark Bryan at In N Out. We're gonna eat, cruise to the car wash, and then take it from there. Check this out. Nice. Super dark, but nice. I know. Turbo sounds good until it goes quiet and you realize your skirts are smacking the ground. Y'all can't see too well. Yeah, when I'm at full log, my tire is slightly grazing the inside of the sky side skirt here. But that's quite all right. Parking on the line, it's all good. Got big things coming to Brian's 370Z. First stop, I'm just gonna wash when I get home. We're having a good time cruising. Got to appreciate those solid gas station picks. Man, I cannot wait to put, to build the new wheels for the Skyline. Just made it to the wash. It's a little past midnight. Skyline is dirty. It is the next morning. When I got home last night, I just went straight to bed. My allergies are killing me, but feeling significantly better today. Side skirts last night did take a little bit of an L. 
As you can see there, I think I just need to adjust my caster a degree forward for some side skirt clearance. Other than that, Nick invited me drifting. He has the white Toyota Chaser that I posted with my iPhone. He is being stationed in Japan in the next couple of weeks and he is considering selling it, but that would be a dedicated drift car since it does need a lot of work and I don't really intend to drift the Skyline a whole lot because I just spent all this money fixing it up and making it look nice. I will definitely consider it and put some thinking on it, but probably won't commit to it because I want my own chaser and or want a Toyota Hilux as a daily. That is going to be it for this video, guys. Sorry if it wasn't too interesting. Just wanted to put some information out that I bought and I'm going to be building a full set of hot pole wheels for the Skyline. Today on another log, I'm gonna be finishing up the prelude. I got the whole front suspension out. I just need to press out some ball joints and press some new ones in and install some new MPC drop forks tighten everything back up and wait for my coilovers but thank you again everybody for the continuous love and support and if you're new to the channel and want to subscribe on too that'd be awesome and remember aim high drive low we'll catch next video take care